Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Winterfell Camp. Me, Lad, I always say. Well, Diesel Mechanic was here. I'm going to put these up like right away. There will be other videos that are like kind of before that. So, you guys know I jump back and forth with things, but I always put the date at the front. So, you can check as you see fit. Anyways, bad news on the bus. Uh, the bus is history. Um, we checked that. Well, we checked. Uh, Ian checked everything. Uh, tried a few things that we thought might work, well he thought might work, and uh, no can do. It looks like it is the high oil pressure pump, but also, interestingly enough, his uh, um, uh, head gasket, or the head. And I come to find out that the Ford 6.0s came out of the factory with warped heads. So, um, basically, when we opened up the rad radiator cap, you know, the coolant reservoir cap, full of oil. Black, not foamy oil and water, oil. Okay, like it looked bad. And uh, the other thing was uh, with the high pressure oil pump, it might, we, we found uh, in one of these little valves, uh, shaving, metal shavings. So two things not good, right? So anyways, it's a write-off. I'm not gonna try and fix it. It'd be a $10,000 job easily here in Canada. I mean, and, and what, to put another 6.0 to have, you know, a shit motor again? I could put a 7.3 in it, and then, but I'd have to do a bunch of wiring and a bunch of stuff. It's just all ridiculous money I don't have. So anyways, uh, very expensive lesson. Um, I had it out for sale um, before I knew what was wrong with it. Uh, $20,000 Canadian or best offer. Um, I've just lowered the price to $15,000 or best offer. And we'll see what comes of it. Uh, it's an expensive lesson, but you know what? It's called landing on your feet. Okay? And basically it comes down to this. Depending on what I get for it, I should be able to get another RV. It'll be an older one, but true will make sure it's tickety-boo I'll make sure you know like everything before so it's something reliable I don't care if it's older just as long as everything works right and it's not gonna break down three miles down the road so as for my friend that sold it to me I will tell you guys there is no way that man could have ever known what happened uh, he didn't know, he's not the type of person that knew that the heads that came out of the Ford factory for those, which is built by International, by the way, that motor, so that already pisses me off. Anyways, Wayne could have not known any of this, and he did put a whole bunch of mileage on it for five years and never nary a problem. So, anyways, it was running fine when he sold it to me, it was running fine until it wasn't. So that's a lesson learned, a very expensive one, albeit, but we can recover from this. So the idea now is to get it sold as quickly as I possibly can and uh, then start looking for another RV, uh, see what we can come up with. And this time I won't be doing anything without my buddy True like leading me by the nose, kind of going, okay, I'm going to check this, I'm going to check that, uh, you know, before you pull the plug on this, that, or the other thing. So anyways, uh, that not much else to really say in that department. Um, is what it is. It's still a good bus for everything else and for somebody mechanically inclined that wants to take the motor out because that's what I would do if I was mechanically inclined and I had the money. I'd drop a 7.3 diesel in it but then I'd sell it because I don't want to have a diesel now. I've decided that that's just not what I want to do uh, for an RV. So anyhow, um, I think I'll leave it there. So uh, anyways, don't, uh, don't anybody be like, you know, poor Paul or poor lad from the woods, whatever. It's not about that um, like he was worried he only wanted to charge me for one hour the lad was here for like three and a half four hours and he's feeling bad for me I said don't feel bad for me I said I knew going into this one or the other was going to happen my buddy Wayne he couldn't have known we drove it where we drove it tried to drive it back it quit end of story sometimes that's when you buy used things that's what happens I got a brand new, well not brand new anymore, but uh, I mean that Dodge Ram pickup truck was bought brand new off the lot with, I don't know, less than 20 kilometers or whatever it was on it, and it's running fine. Uh, True drove it here the other day to go look at a Suzuki, uh, he's 
buying an, well, he bought another Suzuki um, LMZ uh, 400, LMZ 400, uh, because he bent the frame when he had the accident on his uh, on his ATV. So, anyways, um, but he drove it. And he was like, "Wow!" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's a wow." I just it's all very complicated for me. Him, well, he's 30, so it's not that complicated for him. Anyways. Uh, but when you buy something like that new, I mean, I can go out there and turn the key and it's going to go. And it's, of course, it's a Ram too. So, you know, even when they're older, they're still better than anything out there. So as they say in Quebec, uh, c'est la vie. Some Quebecers would be go SD that, uh, naked, uh, you know, no. Well, I mean, but I, I, I'm not angry. And like, I, he was surprised I was smiling and I said, listen, Ian, I said, for me, it's been a stress that's been sitting here. It's been a stress since it broke down in Montreal. I could have ended up going to the States and visiting a friend, and I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't, or I'd have broke down there, and I would have been in a thousand times worse shape. Uh, I mean, there's just a million reasons. Um, am I happy losing that money? No. Any, I mean, anybody with common sense wouldn't be happy, but that's not the point. The point is, is like, okay, we can't change what is, right? Can't change it. So now we move to the next thing is like, okay, it's got to get out of here one way or another. And this hold up for the last month with this Chris guy, um, you know, dicking me around for two weeks. Chris Young from Perth, uh, the so-called diesel mechanic to dick me around. Chris, you ever see this? Okay. But uh, anyways, so if anyway, I'm gonna be pissed if anything it's him because I could have uh, I could have had this uh, known two weeks ago. But you know what? I don't even know if he had the right equipment. This guy came with a great big truck with all kinds of equipment and everything. Really nice guy. Wasn't gonna charge me. I said no, 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 no. I said I, I don't feel sorry for me. Charge what you're going to charge. I said well, you know, I'm trying. I'm like buddy. I said I'm not upset. Because he was worried I was upset. I'm like, no, why would I be upset? Well, most people, you know, when I give them bad news, and I'm like, yeah, it's bad news, but it's pointless to be upset about something I can't control. So, and now at least I can make a move and know where I'm headed. That was stressing me out and upsetting me more than anything else is I can't make a move because I want to move to the RV thing, okay? And uh, there we are. So that's all I got to say about that. And I'll update you guys once I sell it and have other news. And there we go. Okay, so listen, everyone be good out there. Be good to your fellow human. And please like, share, and subscribe. Always helps. Channel's growing. And like Digger said the other day, we're heading for 420 users. We're at 411 today. 420. What the perfect number for those amongst us that know what that number means right digger <laughs> lots of people know but anyway little joke between me and digger so uh yeah uh you guys want to donate to the cost <laughs> to, go to, the, to, to pay for the next rv or whatever uh, anyway links are down in the description um yeah that's about it so be good to your fellow human peace long life and live long and prosper it's always good things to tell people. Think about that a minute, okay? So, uh, bye. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna load these on the computer right now, and I'm gonna upload them right now. It's 12:42 on Tuesday afternoon, July no June 25th. So, you guys so got the latest update.